welcome back to VA Creative and part 42 of the Ultima RS Builder. And on this episode, you're going to find me working on that rear firewall. Oh yes, welcome back to the Dean Den and I have got a three day pass. Yes, a three day pass. The missus is going off to Amsterdam with my daughter. So that means beer, it means curries, it means Rufus can sleep with me in the bed. Ah, anyway, what's more important is what I'm gonna be doing in the Dean Den. And I thought since I have this whole chunk of time, I'd focus on the engine bay. Well. In more accurate terms, I'm not going to install the engine, but what I'm going to be doing is focusing on the rear firewall. And why that's quite a significant job is that firewall holds multiple systems for the engine. It holds the cooling system and the fueling system and the air conditioning system. So really, it is a little bit busy. So what you can't see off camera here is I've taken off the rear clamshell with the assistance of my son and now the back is completely open so why don't we just go over to the unpacking area and what we're going to do is start first on the cooling system okay what you can see here laid out on my unpacking table are all the components that are required to connect the engine to the cooling system at the front of the car and what i mean by that is the radiator and the heater now what ultima do is they provide this beautiful layout here of where every single hole is drilled to millimeter perfection so what we do is we have two tanks up here we have a swirl pot and a header tank and these come complete with their own brackets of course with riv nuts fitted so there's one two in addition what we have are multiple silicone hoses to actually join these components to the engine. Then we have Jubilee clips, we have adapters here, and also lots of saddles, these little babies here, and also zip ties to connect these coolant pipes on to the rear bulkhead. So the first stage what we do here is we take this, and then we go in the back of the RS and measure out where all these holes need to go and I will just start drilling. So let's get over to the back of the car and I'll get comfortable and we will just start making a lot of holes. First we have the expansion tank bracket, so let's open this up. So we have the bracket itself and here's the expansion tank that sits on top, obviously with the four riv nuts. Now fastenings wise we have The one, two, three, four set screws to hold the tank on. We have four of it. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rivets. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Edging to the sun, only you and me I oh, don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now 
Just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud This could be magical goes there like so right so I get a pen and I mark my eight holes so I'm going to line this up excuse me if I'm in the way there we go that's those eight holes there
I am now drilling a lot of holes. Right, so, take your time. Make sure anything open is plugged. Right, so. And now what I've got to do is put in saddles. Next, what we're focusing on is the fuel system. And as you can see here, there's a lot of stuff in the fuel system, I tell you. So I'm just gonna give you a guided tour here of what we have. So we have here a surge tank. We have a fuel regulator. We have the mounting plate plates for one of the fuel pumps. We have a fuel pump. We have a second fuel pump. We have a 100 micron filter. We have a 10 micron fuel filter. And then we have hoses upon hoses upon hoses. And what Ultima have done, which is just lovely, is they basically made all these hoses up with AN fittings on the end. And I must say, I have built these hoses before and they're relatively straightforward, but they can be a bit fussy to do. But Ultima have put given lengths on every single one. Look at this, 225 mil. And on one end, it's just got a straight connector. And on the other end, it has got 90 degree connector. Good ridge fasteners, high quality. And what's really nice is with this braided hose, you get no chafing and basically it's built for motorsport. 
Now, what I'm gonna do now is start unpacking all this, and then I'm gonna lay it out on this table how it's going to be put on the firewall. So, let's get to it. The next stage of the installation is to pop on the two fuel pumps and the first of which sits just down here. Now what I've done off camera is I've drilled four holes and then what I've done is put M5 rivnuts and then popped on rubber bobbins that's provided by Ultima. Then this cradle sits on these four bobbins and that's to isolate the fuel pump from the chassis so it doesn't make a horrific noise. And then here, the fuel pump sits on here. It's mounted on here with two large Jubilee clips. So all I've got to do now is put on a couple of washers and then some M5 lock nuts, put this on with a couple of Jubilee clips and then I can move on So we've got the fuel pump installed, or one of them, and then here, on here, goes this 10 micron fuel filter. Now these are held on by zip ties. <laughs> and 
There we go. What I do like, I must say, is the red matches the brake canvas. Well, it's close. This is anodized aluminium, I know that. So as you can see here, you can start seeing where this actually routing is going to go of these. And I think this goes in here. Anyway. So this tank is held in by three set screws or screws rather, that are popped in to the chassis with riv nuts. I've popped the bottom one in, ensured it's vertical before I've marked the top ones, which it is. And now I'm just gonna do the other two. Now, I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing here over my shoulder, sorry if I'm in the way. It's always a bit tricky. I must say, it is very tight in here. Okay, right. is to install the low pressure fuel pump. And here it is, pretty heavy bit of kit. But what I love about this part of the build, what you've been watching over the last 20 minutes or so, is you just open these boxes with all these components and you bolt them on the car for the very last time. Now, this low pressure fuel pump is exactly a component that can demonstrate this. So to start with, we get the pump itself. And as you can see here, there's an inlet and an outlet. And of course, Ultima provide these conversions to dash six AN connectors. And what you see here, there are no copper washers. And the reason for that is this is actually a tapered thread. And when these are done up, so if I pop this in here, what I can do is suddenly I start feel a resistance and that's as the thread is starting to bite. So I'll do these up permanently off camera. So I'll just put these on here for now. So there's one, two. So there's the pump itself. The electrical connections are underneath here, which will be attached to the loom itself. Now, what you can see here is a beautifully formed bracket. Now, what this bracket does, this is actually um, connected to the chassis and this pump actually hangs upside down. 
like so and you'll see it when I start putting it on the chassis just by the firewall. Now as we did with the high pressure fuel pump you have to isolate these devices otherwise they just vibrate and you'll hear a continual hum within the car. So there are two barriers here. If we see here the pump comes with these rubber washers and what happens is these actually go through this mounting plate and then they're screwed on top by these nylocks and three washers supplied. And in addition, if that were not enough, these four locating points, of course, Ultima provide bobbins. And these bobbins actually go in these four holes and again, riv nuts that I pop into the chassis. So what we're gonna do now is move over to the car itself, I'll clamber inside, and then we'll mark the holes, drill them, put the rivet nuts in, mount the bracket, mount the pump to the bracket, and then it's done. So, as I say, let's get to it. Ah, right, now, what I would suggest, if you fancy building an Ultima, it's good to go to the gym. Because what you can't see, just to have shot here, is my uh, agility to get into the engine bay. And it is a little bit tight under here. Now what we're going to do first is, man, it is tight in here. Okay. So this bracket is going to go on bobbins and sit like so. So what I'm going to do is just pop the bobbins on this bracket and then mark where they sit. Another episode draws to a close and boy, what a workout that was. Under the car, out the car, under the car, out the car. Wow. But anyway, that firewall is now looking pretty impressive, I must say. Now, the routing of those Dash 6 hoses will wait until the next episode because to be honest with you, I'm rather tired now. All that exercise, getting under the car and getting out again, I've just lost count of the number of times I've had to repeat that exercise. So for all of you out there that are tuning in, thank you very much. And remember, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That does help the channel. And also thumbs up 
and also tick that little bell thing to give you notifications when I post the next video. Anyway, on that note, all I can say is enjoy your spannering.